All right, hello, this is Demon coming back for another round of Resident Evil 2, Claire's B campaign. So, if I remember correctly, it's been, I think it's been a couple days since I've actually played this game. And I guess I was, I think I skipped yesterday, no, Saturday. So I haven't had much time to play, so I decided I'm going to record, I don't know, maybe a 45 minute to an hour long episode, just to see how far I can get. <clears throat> so if I remember right, we finished up going through all the major rooms. So I think... Yeah, we're done on the basement, first floor. We're missing green herbs that are out here, but I'm not concerned about grabbing them at this time. Besides, I'm not going through Mr. X to go get it. There's nothing on the second floor, nothing on the third floor, and there's nothing here on the fourth floor. So, <clears throat> basically, the only thing we gotta go get is a small little keycard to get into the garage and get the sherry again. So, as for weapons, we are carrying the... L SLS 60. Uh, this handgun will have five rounds attached with it, so it's a little under the weather f in terms of actual um, an actually good firearm uh, because <clears throat> I don't have enough ammo to really keep it supplied. And before we get to that room, I want to double check since it's been a little bit. It's, I can't remember how much the Colt Army has. Well, I say a cult, but it's not probably really a cult, but it's a quick draw army. Uh, <clears throat> Unluckily, we only have six shots with it. Um, in terms of that, that's okay, but that won't be enough to really do anything. I think what I ended up saying I was going to do is I was going to bring it and then the HP3 with us so that we had access to more firearms. <clears throat> in terms of knives, I think I have a big load of them left. This one's slightly damaged, <clears throat> but it doesn't really matter to me that much. Just because it's, I guess it's not that useful at this point. Saying as we're not going to be fighting too many zombies. <coughs> also, I apologize about the constant coughing. Got shit stuck in my throat. And it's making life an utter bitch. Uh, let's see, so how did this go again? I had to go you here. I was never going to guess that. So... Here... Here, here, oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> okay, so there's a minor jump cut. Minor jump cut, because I never would have figured that one out. That one, that one blew my mind. Blew my mind, man. Okay, so nothing of value besides that. So you guys are getting the minor jump cut. I might just introduce it earlier, because I don't want you guys to sit there watching me be an idiot for a few minutes. Yeah, I actually didn't think I'd play this today, but I decided to. I'll play a little bit, and then I'm going to do Hello? deal with a couple other things off screen. That, or I'll just play another game. We've got unfinished business. Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sure, you alright? <laughs> For now. Well, you bastard, if you hurt her. Stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing, I could let you go. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. There has to be a way out of here. Alright, so this will be getting the next part of Sherry shit. So, gotta grab our little doll friend over here that creeps me the fuck out because it's weird. Let's examine it. Let's just go into the back and get the box. Now, I don't understand the reasoning of why there is a random block sitting in the back of this son of a bitch's head. Like, I, I, I don't know. My opinion is just like, why the hell is this thing here? Because that's just weird. Okay. So, square circle. Any other square circles? Okay, so you are as well, but you don't have that triangle. So let's see, square circle, no square circles, no square circles. Okay, so this one's going to have to get flipped, and then, which one is this? Is this a star, is that a star triangle? Yeah, that's a triangle. Okay, so we got to find triangle star, triangle star. 
So put you here. And then what other one has a triangle star? You don't. But you do. Usually we flip you, if I remember right. So, do that. Do that. Do this. And... No, you don't. Ooh, you tricked me. But I'm assuming there's another one I can switch you with. And then flip you. And then we're good. Very nice. Now, I was able to do cherries when we first played on part a now i don't know if they changed this at any point to be any different i don't think they do what is this that is a weird how is that supposed to be i wonder if i could see myself in there okay sherry you're gonna stay there we're gonna try to look at that at the same time let's see can i see myself maybe not maybe they don't want you to be able to see her I was actually intrigued by that. That'd be a neat little thing. Like you just step barely into view and you're suddenly seeable. Now, I don't know if running through here alerts him at all, so I kind of don't want to run unless I have to. So we're just going to walk. Ooh, look. Sally's diary. Alright. Oh, gotta hold this. Now, I do remember playing as Sherry before, so I think it's going to run the same way as Part A, as I was saying. So hopefully everything goes well, because I don't really want to do this twice. Because I don't th I think as long as you're able to run faster than he can, you're usually pretty fine in this game. And if I remember correctly, I think we do move faster like this, so I'm going to end up just walking around like this. Let's get her going. Yeah, but um, I ended up picking up a couple new things on Steam. I know Hearts of Iron 4 finally released the Ban the Guns DLC. <sighs> but I'm on the fence with that. I kind of like it, but then I kind of don't. I don't know. I have, I'll probably have to play that a bit more to actually care about it. Because um, I don't know how many people actually enjoyed it overall. Um, just because like I've been playing... Tom's Diary. Did I read this one? Sent to that, oh, and all I got back is not a zip. Then again, you're all like that once you get adopted. Be oh, I don't think I did read this, but he's living like a king and some fancy folks who I've never forgotten all about. It's really all thought, really thought that he'd be my friend for life. Guess I'm just a fool. February 8th, Anne sat all the little kids down and told them the story. story today. She said all the kids that get adopted are turned into food for the boogeyman. Ooh, that sucks. Um, and it did. Boogeyman, sorry, had a text message, had to answer that. Not sure where she gets her ideas from, but she sure got the mind for wishy-washy, trashy horror novels. February 13th, there's something weird going on around here, and there's no such cause of Anne's stories. Don't get me wrong, I've been in worse places, and this place is funded by some big drug company. But why can't we call people or go outside? Why are there so many doctors around? What's with these shots every day? It's almost like we're... February 14th, I'm getting adopted. Me. Most people go for younger kids, so I figured I was too old, but I can't say I'm not a little happy. Who am I kidding? I'm totally psyched. I could say goodbye to this place on my 20th. I'm gonna try my best to be a good son, someone my mom and dad can be proud of. Wait a minute. Who am I kidding? I'm totally psyched. I say goodbye to this place on the 20th. Oh, okay. Okay, okay I, was about to say, I thought he was older than that. I thought, that, I thought 20th meant his age. I was just like, whoa, whoa, this is not an orphanage. <laughs> um... Oliver came back in the middle of the night, all messed up, screaming, help me, and stuff. I didn't even recognize him at first. His face was all peeling and melted off. He's with the teachers and doctors now. It's just a skin thing, they say. He'll get better soon, and then we can go on adventures again. Ooh. Um, that doesn't sound good. It sounds like this kid was getting infected with the T-virus, but he wasn't dying. It sounds like he was getting really messed up from the virus, or something was going on. Because if you remember when we played, as, if you guys, when we played Leon, we saw that little girl who was infected by the virus. And I don't know if we saw a bite wound on her or not, I forget. It's been a little while since I've seen her. Um, but you saw like half of her face was like where one eye was, it was infected, but the other half was still normal. So it's a matter of did is that what happened to this kid? Did he suffer pretty badly from this? What happened? 
Yeah, I don't think I did see that, so yeah, that's weird. That was spooky as shit. Okay, so let's go grab this key. We're gonna get ready for another round of hide and go seek. Where you going, Sherry? I told you to stay put. I wanna go see friends. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. That's why he pulled out the belt. For this. Oh, you shit. That looks painful as hell. You know, theoretically, if you just hold that doorknob, you can't get out. You are gonna be so fucking sorry. Go away. He won't grab you if you get far enough away from him, Sherry. Help. I I don't know. I think I follow. I, my thing is, is I think I still have Claire's instincts in this. Where if I saw him, I'd probably kick his ass. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else gets that feeling, but I feel like murdering this guy. Now I gotta remember how this works. I think he goes front first, and then wheels around, and then he goes right to left. <clears throat> I think. I'm hoping. I I hope I don't screw this up again. It's all over now! Doors locked! Do you believe in magic, Wookie Man? I believe in magic. Where are you? Show yourself! I know you're in here! The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's gonna be! <sighs> you a moron, you on your face is on fire, you don't even know it. You don't realize the pain I put you in. I got another bass of ashes, bitch. Oh god, oh god. You bitches gotta be here somewhere. <clears throat> god damn it! Oh, you're fine. What's the worst I did? I put a little bit of acid on your face. What's the worst? That doesn't seem like it should hurt at all. That hurts like a motherfucker. Alright, we're in the clear. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't know why, I just, I, I don't know, I think I have the same protective instincts as Claire does, like, I want to shoot this fucker. <laughs> like, he deserves to die, like, I would personally shoot him in the face. Yeah, the thing is, is I can beat him before he even comes close to me. Now, I did do this before, we know this is locked. But I do it just in case. You can't get me now, motherfucker. I'm gonna get away. Spooky Boogeyman gonna get you. There's Johnny! Where the hell did you get an axe? There was no axe! Screw this shit! <laughs> like, like, it's like, where the hell did you pick up an axe? I don't think I walked through that entire area with him with an axe. Now 
<laughs> it's a dime store. Oh, 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 oh. It's what you give for playing with a dinosaur. What are you talking about? Don't waste my fucking time! Bring me the pendant, or Sherry dies. The pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Is Sherry all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her... Serious? <sighs> Damn it. And with that we have the parking garage key Just card. Alright. Now I don't the only thing I don't get with that cutscene is the fact that they do sit there and say thirty minutes passed. Now we all know no way thirty minutes passes. I could probably get there in ten to fifteen at most. Um, so as I said before, we are gunning out. You're crabbing everything. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead. No, I need. I need to keep this. <clears throat> you might go demon. Run back and get that roll of film checked. I will when we come back. Um, once we get down into the subway and everything, I will come back to the um, this place and I will go back to the dark room to go get that checked. Um, the only problem we run into at the moment is the fact that I don't. I don't want to go and deal with Mr. X because it's just time consuming. If I just skip him entirely and wait till he's gone, then I can go back there without a single problem occurring. And if I don't have to deal with him, yay for me! Because that's one less Mr. X I gotta carry about, care about. Trust me, if I could, if I didn't have to deal with him, I'd probably do it right now. But I just don't want to have to run through him to get there. Now, the one thing I don't know, and it is curious for me, is let's say we're going to be seeing him very shortly. Is I always was curious is if I can go back to the elevator and run back up top if he would follow me or not. So, use it. You again? Now. And with that, he will take too long and we get the hell out. Go! 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 Sprint like the wind! I'd be running on like my on my fucking tippy toes, man. I would not be strutting like this. I'd be gone, man. Don't give a f flying fuck. Okay. Now I did this before, and he didn't hit me. Now I gotta pray to God he doesn't hit me again. Go clear, go. Aha, bitch, you can't get this if you can't touch it. Na 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 na. Okay, we're in the clear, we're in the clear. Oh god. Yeah, before when I you guys will see the episode for that, um unluckily it's going to be smaller scaled because I fucked up on the um Well I no, I didn't fuck up. Fuck what I had to say. That was not me, that was the game, okay? You gonna die? You wanna die? You wanna say hello to my little bullet? Is it piercing your skull? Good, you're dead. Not really, I know you're not done. I'm just gonna stab you till you die, cause I don't care, it's rid of a knife. You wanna die? No. You wanna die now? No. That's my last stabbies. I don't think there's anything there. Puppies! Okay. I'm just gonna keep on waltzing. Uh, where's the puppy? Puppy. Come on, puppy. I shot him in the ass. Did he die, die? He died, died. Good. Now this time I won't make the same mistake where I kept reloading this gun a million times. So. Bam. 
Bam. You're dead. I think you're dead now. Good. Okay. That means any infected are behind me, they won't keep up. I'm too fast. Too furious. No, I'm gonna keep walking because I hate running. But we are gonna run over here real quick because I gotta get these other dogs. I remember the last time I had to deal with you bastards and you wouldn't die. <laughs> this time I didn't make the same mistake. Now I think that's everything in the basketball courts. There's nothing else of value in here. So we can only go ahead and strut on to the next area. Shit, dog. Where's the puppy? Puppy. There he goes. I can live with submachine gun ammo being wasted. I got plenty of it. Now my question is... Is there anything else I need to grab through here? I don't think there is. Okay, there is that herb. We can combine that with you. That'll give me extra health. Now, the big question is, are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. You're not, though. I will right, take that hand grenade, because I can't say no to it. I know you're not dead. Hey, <laughs> you can't get in here, you dumb fucking dog. Now, if I think if I run over on this side. Anything else out there I gotta grab? I wonder if I could just outrun him. I'll see if I can outrun him. Nope! Fuck you, puppy. I can't beat him. Yeah, I, I kind of got rid of the knife, but it didn't have much life left in it either way, and we got two left in reserve. So we're fine, we're fine. Hang on, Sherry. Fine, just fine, fine, just fine. Oof. Spicy. Hello? The little I'm gator. Look at the little gator, look at him go, look at the little feet. Give me a feet. Alright, so, with that, we are now officially not needing this freaking gun anymore, so I'm going to put that down there in reserve. And we're going to keep this pistol. Hello, I know you got implanted with something, but where's my friend? There he is. Is he blind in that eye now? Again, now, I said the same thing when you guys will be watching Clary, but that thing jumps out of his chest, right? And it jumps towards us. Where'd it go? <laughs> like, where the hell does it actually go? Like, it doesn't even hint to you where the hell it went. It just goes in incognito. It just disappears from the face of the earth. Like, it literally jumps at your ass. I mean, I, I, guess that's a, I guess that's a thing off Capcom where they didn't bother showing it correctly. And that was the end result of it. Hi Sherry, how are you? 
Oh, is that our friend, Mr. X? Uh, Sherry, run. Go, go, go! Sherry, run like the wind. Claire, it's behind you! It's behind you, it ain't behind me. Whenever I beat him, have you ever beat him first if I get in? Yeah, I guess that does end the cutscene quicker. That is the end of Mr. X. Claire, are you all right? Can you hear me? Claire? Claire, you have to get up. He's going to get us. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Wake up. Open your eyes. Hold still. I'm not infected. Sherry. Where's Sherry? Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who's, who's that? The creature responsible for this. Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. Okay. Where did Sherry go? Or SMG. Good. Good. Alright. Now the question is, what is in here? Net. Oh, you bitch, you locked it on me. Is this 45? Oh. It's even better. Report about G. The G virus clinical trials will be entering its new final phase. Ah, yes, read this already. There you go, everybody. You can read that on your own time. Remember, stop it, read it. Stop it, read it. Alright. So, let's see. In terms of weapons, I don't need you. Um, let's put you away. Or definitely put you away. You're my reserve. Don't need you. Alright. So, is there anything else in this upper area now? That's the thing. If you leave this area, you actually can't come back here. So, this is like your only chance to see this stuff. So, let's see. We're going to go ahead and switch shortcuts because I want to carry this around and use up whatever ammo I got before I go to that. In terms of ammo, I think I can live off the 98 rounds I got. And I got to remember to do... No, I don't get that till later. So let's go ahead, both combat knives are 100%, let's bring you and let's grab the hand grenade. I'm trying to think if I need anything else at this point. I don't think I do. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Alright, so, no bay ammo, a knife, three hand grenades, definitely going to come in handy later. Alright, let's do this. So, um... That happened, and we're alive. Um, the only thing I don't understand with this is how Birkin gets in, because as we saw, like we were passed out here. Like Birkin somehow fits through this shit, but he was on that side of the elevator, so I don't know if he like how they have it to where he comes in. But Sherry runs off, we're left behind, and this is what we end with.
So, let's head down here and let's see what we can find. I don't think there's anything really in this area, no. Yeah, the map is actually a good feature for this, so if you ever play this and you want to know what the hell's going on through here, go to the map. It will tell you if there's items you're missing. Now, let's see. We actually are heading down here. Now, the problem we're going to run into is I don't remember... No, I do remember. I just don't know what the game is going to give us. Okay, so there is a blue herb. I'm trying to think of what else we're going to need. I don't think we're running into anything else. I think I keep that. Now, if you remember from Leon's campaign, and I'm going to be making the same mention of it in Claire's, is this is where we meet our first G-Virus infected. Well, not G-Virus infected, but we fight our first, I guess, evolved form of it. Um, that's not, I think it's taken by a human. I think it just comes from the embryo. He doesn't actually pop up in this part of the map. Um, we don't see them until much, a little bit later. Um, why they designed it this way, I guess it's just because, I guess Leon pops up in a different section of the sewers and comes in, Claire pops up on one side. Like, we immediately end up down there, Leon doesn't end up down there till a little bit later. So, I guess their way of making it easier is by using that, but I don't know. So, next thing we gotta do is we gotta go up here and we gotta deal with some dumb bitches. Oh shit! <laughs> um, that's not the first time I've ever done that, and it certainly won't be my last. Um, are you dead, dead? Yes. Are you dead, dead? Yes. You, on the other hand, I don't know if you're. I'm assuming you're dead, dead. Oh god, you're dead, dead. <laughs> okay, so I can remember what the hell this is. I think it was S. I think this was it. Oh, thank you, Lord. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Alright, so we are set. I don't think there's anything. You know, there's still something else I missed in this room. What did I miss? Nothing there. Flame round. Praise be Jesus for that shit. Because I wanted those flame rounds to light a bitch on fire. This is the first instance of when you realize that Ned's a bitch. Um, that's her own daughter. She is begging for help, and she does not give a shit about Sherry. Um, I kind of like the fact that they flush out her story a little bit more, so you have a better idea of how to deal with her. But it doesn't turn the fact that I still think she's a bitch for that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's whatever instinct I have where it's just like, I go out of my way to help Sherry. Her mom's a kind of a dickhead <laughs> with the way she treats her. Uh, let's put you here, we'll put you here. That leaves me with three slots. Is that enough? Not really, but let's go ahead and put these back. Um, and we'll bring him with us here in a moment. I actually want to keep a lot of this stuff behind. High grade stuff, very good. 
We're going to be using this a quick draw army much more. Okay, so this is the indication that we are dealing with this shit again. Now, this comes into play are the wonders of what we like to call the plugs. Now, I'm going to basically show you kind of how the plugs work. Uh, we got three of them in this room. We are searching for the three more pieces. So, in the case of this, we have the knight. This is the knight. This plug automatically goes here, so even though I took it out, it's just to show that it's named. It has a picture to it, so you know it belongs there. Um, the pawn's the same way. This will be this one. Again, it's all from knight uh, chess pieces, so this is the pawn. The pawn goes here because, again, this is the piece where it has the picture at. Luckily, this is where they point them to, so you know where they're at. Now, there's another one which is called the bishop. Now, the bishop is this one. Now, the way you got to figure it out is using this note. So it says the rook's next to the knight, but facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight right at the end. The knight says, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, and knight ain't where the case marking says. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. I got lied to, wait a second. The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight, right at the end. And the knight ain't where the case marking says. Ah, so they're dicks. So Capcom screwed me. Um, so, in the case of this, I don't know where any of them go. <laughs> um, um, so, you guys remember we played Leon, we already messed with this once, I was going to go through a tutorial, but I didn't realize part B got screwed, so this is where that's supposed to go on the A, but I guess it has to go over here? How in hell does this sit there and say this again? The rook's next to the knight, so the rook goes where I think it's supposed to, but not facing the queen. So, the queen, but not facing the queen. King ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight, right at the end. But it says, okay, so right then, ain't where the nice king, king ain't next to the queen. Ooh, this one doesn't say the bishop's next to it. Oh, we're gonna have fun with that when I get those pieces. Um, yeah, we're missing through pieces. It doesn't run like a campaign. I thought maybe it'd be similar to this point, but it isn't. Um, so that's intriguing for me. Now I'm learning. Um, I guess this will make Leon B's campaign a hell of a lot easier when I get to it. Um, a couple things we're missing in here, as you can tell, is we do have pretty much all our shit in here. Um, but we don't have the video cassette for this television. So we gotta actually go find it. Um, I know where it's at. It's gonna be, if you remember correctly from Leon's, it was off of that dead umbrella operative. Now... That umbrella operative is still there, but because we're going through this um, in the opposite direction, what ends up happening is we actually have to run a little bit ways back to get to it. Now, I'm not, in my good judgment, going to go to where Leon spawns at. I didn't do it when I played as Claire in the A campaign, because there's something waiting for us over there, and I'm not fighting this son of a bitch. Um... So, yeah, we're not going to go back there. Um, the other thing we're missing at the moment is the T-bar, which we just picked up. We have some notes here, Leon's note. Claire, if you've made it this far, you're almost out of the city. I've got to take care of something before I leave, but I need you to, I need you to tell you something in case I don't make it. This was all Umbrella's doing. Let the people know, Leon. So, that's Leon's note for us. I'm assuming that means he's already gone through this. And that's why he's leaving the note for us. So if we go down here, delivery receipt, and we know where that thing is at. So it runs the same way as when we played as Leon. Now the SLS rounds, if you remember, we had Magnum rounds. Um, we actually don't have the frame for them yet. Because the pistol we currently have, which is the SLS, is actually needing one more upgrade. Which if I remember correctly, we're going to be getting from this safe. So if we waltz on over... We will see that the safe has the markings. It'll be 2, 12, 8. 12, 8. We open it. And here is the heavy frame. Now with this, the pistol is fully upgraded and is fully a magnum. Now the big problem is going to be is this son of a bitch.
Get them footies. Toes. Give me them toes. Give me them toes. Aha. You dead dead yet? I think he finally decided to die. Combine this real quick. We'll go back and stab him again. And again and again and again. Again. Good he's dead dead. Okay. Now the next place we gotta go to is down here. Alright, so we're gonna be fighting a couple more zombies. I'm um, not gonna waste the flame rounds. I think I'm gonna hold on to them. So, it's gonna be one bitch here. That I somehow missed. I guess the Kurt Angle got me. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for giving me at least one of them an easy kill. Wait. He's dead dead already? Jesus Christ, I got lucky. Strut on back over here. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, we will go ahead and combine these. And I'm gonna shoot this son of a bitch. Okay, he actually is dead dead. Thank you, fucking god. Now, I'm not gonna open that one door just up yet. I'm actually gonna run over here, because there's something I wanna grab, which is this. So, with this, we are now going to head back up the stairs. And I'm going to deposit a few things. That way I don't have to worry about this stuff and it's out of my inventory. Now, I'm going to hold on to the quick draw army because it has four shots in it, which will come in handy. Um, we still have the grenade launcher, which is beautifully handy. And we're going to deposit some of this other shit. So we're going to get rid of you. We're actually going to get rid of you, and then I'm going to pick up the three. Because the three is more useful. And then with that, I think we'll run into some stuff upstairs in the one new location. So, I think we're good. I think we got everything we need. Um, so, when I said we were going to fight the G-Virus, if you remember this, we played this already, you've seen the Leon campaign, you know where we're fighting one at. As soon as I put that and open that up, one's gonna come down in the sewer and we're gonna go kill it. If you're first time watching, sorry for the for the jump cut there, because it's <laughs> I'm giving shit away. <laughs> so before we do that, actually, I'm gonna run over here. There's a certain key we gotta grab, and I do remember to get it this time, because I think when I played as Claire, I forgot to grab it, because I always forget to come over here quick. So, come over here. We see this horribly de deformed location. Nothing we can do about it, and we'll come over here. And there is this wondrous little key sitting here, and magically, if I examine it, it tells us that it's useful. Now, my thing is, is I wonder if this location up here is now open for us to go into. No, I wonder when you can open this up. Because where is that? That's the upper waterway. Maybe... I don't know. Hmm. I think we go through the upper waterway is Leon, but I don't think they opened that up for Claire. But I also remember when we played Leon, that area wasn't opened up either because that was destroyed. I was wondering if B campaign had that not destroyed. Alright, so with that we have the key. We can now head to the new location. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this big motherfucker. Because I know what to do with it. So let's get her done. So, I'm actually going to be pulling out the revolver. I'm going to try to do as much damage to its arm as I can. And I don't think there's really much else to grab through here. Grab that. And there's the big some bitch now. The army ready? That's it. And it's dead. That easy. <laughs> You couldn't fucking kill me. Na 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 na. Alright, that didn't give me much space. Let's head back. 
I actually want to drop some stuff off. Because the next area, I kind of need the space. Well, actually, no. Well, I actually do. I do. I gotta get rid of this. Alright, so let's head back up. Now, I'm trying to think for other locations. I don't think I actually do need the T-bar yet. No, actually, I don't need the T-bar at all. Uh, I don't think I do. Let me think. Let me do the, let me do the, the thing in my head. Okay, so we go up there, there, there. I don't think we need the T-bar, so I'm actually going to leave the T-bar behind. We're going to keep the key on us. Um, I don't think I need anything else. I guess we could keep this. We'll keep the army on us just in case, but I don't think I'll need it for anything else. So let's go ahead and switch. Now, we do have automatically access to five rounds for this, um, but I think if I remember right, we switch, it goes into our inventory. So I don't know if Capcom meant to do it this way, but it's kind of like a glitch to get five extra uh, rounds, I guess you could say. Um, for the SLS. Again, we're going to hold on to them for a little bit. I might use it in this next section if I feel that I need the ammo. But I don't remember when we grab another thing at gunpowder for a little while. So I might have to hold off on it. Because I'm desperate for gunpowder because I need more pistol rounds. And the only gun we really have ammo for at the moment is the SMG. Now we do have some acid rounds. Um, we do have some extra flame rounds, but I kind of want to save the flame rounds for any liquors we run into. And the acid rounds I kind of want to save for Birkin. Um, mainly because he is going to be a bitch to fight. Oh fuck, I did need that. I'm a fucking moron. Jump cut! Alright, welcome back. So yeah, I'm an idiot. So I forgot, to get, I forgot that I actually do need this for this section. Um, now we got it. Um, I think if I remember right, we should find another pouch up top here, so that'll give us the two extra spaces. I also went ahead and brought an extra combat knife. That was one thing I was thinking about bringing with me, um, mainly because I remembered I need it. And we have brought extra the 200 rounds of the SMG ammo in comparison to just that 60, because I felt like I was going to run out of submachine gun ammo rather quick. And I didn't want to deal with less ammo. And I know the knife's gonna break here shortly, so. Son of a bitch! Are you dead, dead? Yeah. Give me that pouch. I got the pooch. Now, where is the 45 ammo? There it is. Now, this won't give us all our ammo, but it'll get us there. Now, my question is, is where's our friend at? Another roll of film. Now, I remember there being a zombie when I did this originally. I just don't know where he's at. There he is. So, he'll come over to... Uh, so there's the other one. not going to charge us because he's too injured or he doesn't hear the shot so we're good on him but he's still alive what the hell is up with you Now somebody else might say there's another zombie to my left, but because I brought that up, he's not coming our way. Now, I want to see if I can get a lucky one headshot on him. Thank you, Jesus Christ. 
Uh, I don't think there's anything else up here we can get. And this is where you actually can see a lot of the dead umbrella operatives. So you, you kind of get an idea. This is where several of them actually f had their little last stand as they fought Birkin. And as you can tell, they failed at it because they got most of their asses killed for it. Now, we could jump down there, but I am not. Screw that shit. So we are actually going to be heading back this way. <laughs> you don't get to do shit. All right, so we use this. This is unlocking the door. There's nobody in here. And I think it tries to say there's another spot this can be used at, but I don't see a point in it. So let's go ahead and open up all this. I don't have any room for any of this, so... And this is also the... If you remember when I opened that one locker, you're like, Demon, you didn't have the locker combination. How'd you know it? This is how. When you get in this room, those circled ones are the ones you have to get um, to know what the combination is. So um, the next area we're going to be running to is going to be up here. And we will come back for all of this shit here. I actually need to make some space in my um, inventory very quickly. First, let's grab the most important thing. More magnum rounds. I'm going to try to save as many of these as I can. These things are a godsend when you find them. And this opens this padlock. And as you can see, we're now back inside the police station. So, if you remember from the last time we played this, this is the room we go to to find Cherry for the first time, and we also fight Birkin in his level 1 form. So, instead of doing that, we are now up here. And this will take us back to the police station. This is where the T-Bar comes in handy when you play Leon in Claire's A campaign. Um, I think when you play B, I, we can see if it's shut. I don't think it is. But, um, yeah, it's not shut. Yeah, so you can see we can still go throughout the station and go screw around. But at this point, um, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is deposit everything I know I don't need, which is pretty much going to be most of this. So let's see, examine. We know this is the rook plug now. Let's put it away. And this gives us pretty much all the room we need in our inventory. Um, so before we go too much further, well... Yeah, let's go back downstairs, because i got to go get these rolls of film done. So we're actually going to head back down here really quickly. Uh, I'm going to flip you, and I'm going to flip you. And then we're going to shortcut you to the one spot, because I'm going to be using the quick draw as much as I can in this situation. So we're actually going to head down. I think I'm going to go grab whatever stuff is inside the one room. Uh, they got us to here through the uh, padlock and the elevator. And then I think I might call it quits there for today, because I think this is going to go for about an hour. Um, there's probably a little bit of jump cuts that I'm going to have to do, but for the most part, I think you guys are going to get a good chunk of content out of this. It's kind of going a lot of back and forth, but I have no choice in this. It's just how the game rolls, because it's like I didn't have much space to work with um, in terms of loot. Um, I grabbed as much as I could, but there's only just so much available to use the player. So, swap you, and then I'm actually going to mess with this inventory, because I like keeping everything nice and refined. Actually, put you here, put you here. Good. So let us reload you. I can grab that wonderful thing called gunpowder. And then we're going to head back up into the police station, and I'm going to end this episode there. Yeah, the fun thing's gonna be is running back through here as Leon. Um, again, I don't have the wonders of a grenade launcher anymore, so I got. I'm gonna have to rely heavily on his Magnum. Um, luckily, I can actually make Magnum rounds with him. That's what sucks is Claire. You don't get that option. Um, you can make acid rounds as her for the grenade launcher, and you can make the SMG rounds and then the handgun rounds. Whatever Magnum rounds you gather with her you got to save them because you need them for the stronger bosses um, a level three Birkin is a good place to use them um, level two is still a little light I don't think you really need it too much you, you can rely heavily on the SMG for most part for those um, so let's go ahead and gather this this will get us most of the ammo we need and then where is it where is my child where's the gunpowder where is it oh yeah give me gunpowder and then combine and now we got 39 rounds. We're back, baby. 
SLS is back. Okay, and I don't think there's anything else I need. We got 17 high-powered rounds. We're going to save them. We got the acid rounds. We'll save them. I think that's good. I think we got enough equipment to really survive. I think I got more flame rounds than I originally did for Claire. Um, it definitely feels like I did. On the other hand, I think I used a good chunk of them when we had to fight the guys in the sewer. Yeah, because I think I ended up using two or three shots on that guy instead of relying heavily on the SMG, because I didn't think the SMG was that great. So, I think that's good. I think we got enough shit to survive on. Um, when we come back, we're going to go to the dark room, where I have access to these rolls of film, and we're going to use both of them in there. So, you can't really see what they are. I'm not going to bring them with me just because we can use them once we get there. So, in terms of that, that's how we're going to roll with this. So... Uh, this will be the end of the episode. When, as I said, we're going to go back to the dark room. Once we get a dark room, develop everything, grab the extra stuff that we can gather, same as Leon's. We're going to head back down into the sewers and go get the king and queen plug-in pieces. So this will be the end of this episode. If you guys have been enjoying this content for the Claire B Resident Evil 2 campaign, I would appreciate a like. Um, just watching the video, though, that, that's enough for me, but... I appreciate anything you guys want to do for it. Um, if you want to leave a comment, just let me know, and I will try to get back to you if I can. I think one person wrote something on one of the videos, and I think I did put a like on it. That, that was a while ago, whenever you guys will be seeing this. So, um, yeah, please do those things, and I will be seeing you guys in the next round of Resident Evil 2. Thank you.